I'm joined today with Ryan LeBlanc. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing, Shelby? I'm doing very good. We wanted to kind of speak about with the rescue squad today about water safety. How can people be more cautious out there in the water? Yeah, I guess uh, first and foremost, we always encourage uh, everybody to use life jackets um, and or personal flotation devices when they are out swimming. Um, make sure you know the currents, the water temperatures, and uh, you know just make sure that if you are going out on the rivers or anything, make sure someone knows you know when you're leaving, when you're expected to be back. And what are some safety measures residents should take before going out for a swim? Yeah, you know, especially for, for young kids, um, you know, always have them within arm's reach. Uh, never really rely on, on the flotation device fully. Like if, if uh, you know, if they're wearing them, it doesn't mean they can't drown still. You should still be within arm's reach of them. So uh, make sure that uh, there's an there's a exit for them to come out um, and to stay out of the sun because there is the possibility of the, uh, the heat getting at them as well. So. Okay, and what do you suggest to people that find themselves in those situations in trouble in the water to be able to get themselves out of that situation in case getting help isn't an option at that moment? Yeah, you know, uh, just make, make yourself uh, heard if you can. Uh, yell, uh, scream for help. Um, but, uh, you know, as we said, it's best just to prevent getting into those situations by putting on those life jackets. Um, and knowing the currents, you know, in the rivers, even the lakes, the, the lakes can uh, definitely have currents that are flowing into them as well. So just making sure you're aware of uh, your surroundings. And in your opinion, would you recommend for people to always try and go swimming with others and never go by themselves? Absolutely. Um, you know, especially, uh, especially, you know, if, if they're not a strong swimmer, it, it's best to be with a group of people um, and, uh, and always for everybody to be prepared, you know, have the life jackets on and stay hydrated and, and have, a, have a plan with somebody who's maybe not there and can expect a time when you're going to be back home. And have there been lots of instances this year when it has come to having to do with water safety, like people have been in trouble in the water lately? Yeah, we've we've had a pretty busy uh, summer in regards to our water calls this year and and just recreational calls in general. Uh, I think uh, with people being out on the lakes and the rivers more this year, um, you know, we're seeing an increase in uh, in our calls through the uh, the water side. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely an increase in, in calls for us. And the rescue squad is still having their GoFundMe for equipment upgrades, right? Yep, yep. So we've actually raised enough to purchase the two dive computers. Um, so we have purchased those. Uh, we are still fundraising for the sonar for the boat. Uh, and as well, um, we're, we're still hopeful to get, uh, get the new boat uh, down the road here. So uh, it's still an ongoing fundraiser and we're, we're still uh, accepting donations if anybody's willing. And what are some other ways for residents to help donate other than the GoFundMe? Yeah, they can give us a call. Um, they can check out our website uh, or as you said on the Facebook page, you can go down to the GoFundMe page. Uh, but uh, yeah, they can give us a call at any time and uh, we could definitely get them uh, situated over the phone if they need to. And the scoop is still having their weekly flavor to help out the rescue squad. How's the reception been for that going? It's been awesome. Uh, we've had lots of feedback with that and uh, lots of people are sure enjoying the, uh, the ice cream over there in the hot summer days. So it's been, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been awesome to hear and see on the social media what they're able to do for us. So uh, we are very thankful for them. And is there anything else you'd like to add for residents to know just that has to do with water safety right now for the summer? No, just as we're nearing the end of summer, unfortunately, you know, I know uh, lots of people are still going out to the lakes and the rivers just to make sure that you are going prepared and uh, to make sure people know where you are and, and just be very aware of your surroundings and the currents and the water temperatures. And as, uh, as the lakes start to freeze, just, you know, uh, make sure that we're, we're watching the, the thickness of the ice before we go out on the ice. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Ryan. Thank you for having us.